Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share Logan's story with you. He was betrayed by his best friend, who he thought was cheating with his wife. Alright, please like the video and let's get started. Do you know what it feels like to be betrayed by the person you love the most? I do. I never would have imagined that my wife, who always appeared gentle and shy in front of me, would cold-heartedly cheat on me. Oh, honey, you scared me, Amanda said as she saw me coming out of the bathroom, towel in hand. I was captivated by the sight of her. Tall and slender, with a perfectly proportioned figure and fair, flawless skin. Her delicate features seemed as if they were meticulously crafted by a divine hand. And those long, straight legs, they never failed to entice me, even after all these years of marriage. Every time I saw her coming out of the bathroom, I couldn't resist the urge, so I embraced her from behind. Get some rest, okay? I said, leaning in for a kiss. It was our secret code, and under normal circumstances, Amanda would be delighted. But today, there was no reaction on her face. However, I didn't think much of it. After all, I was tired from school and I thought I could easily boost her mood later. But little did I know that as I reached for the contraceptives next to her, my hand unexpectedly touched something strange. What is this? I pulled it out and froze in shock. It was a pair of black stockings with a hole in the middle. It wasn't the kind that got damaged or torn, it was a piece of lingerie, and it had been worn. For most people. Having such an item at home might not be a big deal, but for me, it held a different meaning. Amanda was a teacher, and she was not only conservative in her attire but also in our intimate life. She never fulfilled even some of my small requests, denying me the pleasures that other men could enjoy. The appearance of these black stockings suddenly killed my mood, and I stared at her with wide eyes. Amanda was initially facing away from me but when she noticed my lack of response for a while, she turned around. What's wrong, honey? She asked, puzzled, as I threw the lingerie in her face. Tell me, I demanded. A conservative woman like you suddenly changing like this can only mean one thing, you've betrayed me. It's not uncommon to see such contrasting personalities these days, a virtuous wife and mother at home but a lustful bitch outside, Amanda picked up the lingerie, looking confused. What are you talking about? How could you suspect me? Her innocent expression angered me instantly. Why shouldn't I suspect you? I've asked you to wear stockings before, and you always refused. And now, all of a sudden, you've bought these stockings. I've never seen you use them even once. Are you wearing them for someone else? Or maybe you're wearing them to please yourself, Jaden, what are you even saying? Amanda was at a loss for words, tears streaming down her face. I can't believe that after all these years of marriage, you don't trust me. I. She sobbed as she tried to explain herself. I know that over time. The passion in that aspect of our relationship has diminished so I hesitated for a long time before buying this lingerie. I wanted to overcome my own barriers and reignite the passion we had during our honeymoon, but I tried once, that shy feeling, I. I couldn't overcome it, so I just threw them in the closet, I never expected you to suspect me of cheating. Amanda cried even harder at this point. After listening to her words, I was stunned. Amanda's explanation made perfect sense and brought back memories of our years together. Amanda was the school's beauty queen, and among her numerous suitors, I wasn't the most outstanding one. However, she still chose me. She said she found me reliable and that I provided her with a sense of security. Despite being busy with work after marriage, she always took care of our little home meticulously. If she wanted to cheat, her thoughts would have long been elsewhere, not at home. I regretted it and clenched my teeth. Jaden, oh Jaden, you're simply not a decent person. I wish I could slap myself hard right now. 
I quickly stepped forward and embraced her in my arms. Wife, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. You can hit me or scold me. But no matter what I said, Amanda didn't listen and continued crying, finally getting up and leaving the bedroom. Oh no, why was I so impulsive? Accusing her without investigating properly. While I was pondering how to make her forgive me, Amanda returned to the bedroom. As I looked at her, my eyes widened. Because she had already changed into that seductive black stockings. With those black stockings and her perfect legs, I couldn't help but feel a surge of desire. Wife, you. Amanda sneered coldly. You doubted me, right? Tonight, I'll let you doubt enough. If you don't satisfy me, I'll never forgive you again. Hearing those words, I knew she was no longer angry with me. I quickly got out of bed and grabbed her hand. Wife, I know I was wrong. Don't worry, I'll definitely satisfy you. The next day, Amanda had already dressed and saw that I was awake. Husband, you're not allowed to have unfounded suspicions anymore, otherwise I won't forgive you, yeah, I promise I won't, dear. I had morning classes, so I left first. After you get up, tidy up the room. My friend and I started a convenience store together, so I didn't have to go too early. After waking up, I started cleaning the room. While picking up the new bed sheets from the wardrobe, I accidentally stumbled upon an exquisite box. Ha! Huh? What good thing did Amanda hide so well, driven by curiosity, I opened the box. Inside was a silk underwear with two striking red words embroidered on it, slave. This underwear was quite sexy, but I had never seen Amanda wear it. As I picked up the card from the box and read the words on it, my heart sank. Slave, I'm very satisfied with your performance, so I'm rewarding you with an exclusive underwear. Wear this underwear to meet your master next time. In those twisted games, there are people who enjoy giving their submissive women this kind of underwear, representing that they solely belong to their masters, instantly. I thought of last Friday night when Amanda came home late, and I saw the strawberry mark on her neck. At that time, she said it was a prank played by her colleagues at school. Now that I think about it, I was such a fool. What school colleague would engage in such a prank? And at that time, I actually believed her. I vividly remember that she didn't take off her clothes when she went to sleep that night, claiming she wasn't feeling well. Maybe she had played too rough with her master and was afraid I would notice. And the stockings from last night, now that I carefully think about it, I didn't pay much attention at the time. If she had tried them on, there wouldn't have been such marks. Thinking about this, my mood became depressed, and in my mind, an image involuntarily replayed. Amanda, wearing stockings, betraying me. In order to verify my thoughts, I opened the closet again, but the erotic stockings were no longer there. Amanda must have taken them. This only fueled my uncontrollable imagination, and the images from earlier kept flashing in my mind like a slideshow. Could it be that everything Amanda said yesterday was a lie? Did she have a sexual encounter with someone else on our bed while wearing those black stockings, but with the events from yesterday, I was afraid that it was all just my overactive imagination, which would completely disappoint Amanda. My head felt like it was about to explode, and I couldn't stop wondering if Amanda had betrayed me. In the end, I resisted the urge to call her and decided to come back early in the evening to ask her about the underwear. But around 5 o'clock, she called me. Honey, just eat something on your own tonight. I won't be coming back, dear, I have something I want to talk to you about in person, I can't do it today. I made plans with Jennifer to play a murder mystery game tonight, and I'll be staying at her place. Can you tell me over the phone? Talking about this over the phone would definitely make Amanda angry, so I hesitated for a moment and decided to hold back. All right, let's talk about it when you come back tomorrow, okay, when I come back tomorrow, I'll reward you properly. 
After saying that, Amanda hung up the phone. What if she's not coming home because she's going to meet her card's owner? What if playing the murder mystery game is actually kneeling in front of her master, wearing a dog collar, and begging for their despicable desires to be fulfilled? I smoked one cigarette after another, but I couldn't stop my mind from racing. Just then, my phone rang. I picked up my phone and saw that it was my friend Logan. We started the store together, and we usually took turns managing it. Today was his day off. What's up, do you have some free time? Let's grab a drink, I was already thinking about having a drink to calm my anxious and troubled mind, and his invitation came at just the right time. I naturally agreed. Sure, as soon as I closed the shop door, I saw Logan's car parked on the side of the road, and I got in. Logan, where are we going to drink? Hee <laughs> hee, I found a great place. Wanna have some fun? Don't worry, I know you're short on cash, I'll treat. Are you up for it? I knew Logan had a taste for these things, and under normal circumstances, I wouldn't do anything to betray Amanda. But my mind was in such turmoil now, and I impulsively agreed to his invitation. All right, let's go, Logan drove and took me to a secluded building in the city center. When we got out of the car, he reached into the storage compartment and handed me two masks. Put this on, okay. Despite my confusion, I complied and followed him as we knocked on the side door of the building. After verifying his identity, the doorman allowed us to go upstairs. As soon as we reached the top, I was shocked by the scene in front of me. There was a huge stage in the middle, and couples wearing masks were dancing passionately in the dance floor. This. Just as I was stunned by the scene before me, a woman wearing a black fitted skirt, a small camisole, and high heels passed by me, captivating my gaze. It wasn't because this woman was particularly enticing, but because her long, straight legs were so familiar I had seen Amanda's legs that looked exactly the same. She wasn't going to play the murder mystery game with Jennifer. How could she appear here, Amanda, stop right there. I immediately chased after her and ran a few steps before feeling someone pulling me back. Jaden, are you going crazy over Amanda? Why did she come back to a place like this? If security catches her, we'll be kicked out, and I'll have wasted my money, but I just. As I spoke, I turned back, but the figure I saw earlier was nowhere to be found. The height and figure of that woman were so similar to Amanda's. Could I have been mistaken, hey handsome, can I join you? As I was lost in thought, a tall, curvaceous woman wearing a fox mask approached. Logan whispered in my ear, any woman here who takes an interest in you can do whatever she wants, you lucky guy, a girl is approaching you as soon as you arrive. Go for it, hearing his words, I made up my mind and nodded at the woman. Knowing it was my first time here, she seemed especially pleased and led me to a small booth on the side. To my surprise, the booth didn't even have a curtain, and I could even see the people across from us. The woman asked me to sit on the couch while she stood in front of me and started dancing seductively. Apart from Amanda, I had never been in such close proximity to another woman before, and she was so open about it. As I looked at the scene before me, I felt unsure and overwhelmed. But instead of getting angry, the woman grabbed my hand. Don't be nervous, handsome, to be honest, I'm also a man and those words were like the final straw that overwhelmed my mind. My head went blank. Especially with this passionate woman in front of me, she completely shattered my previous understanding. Although I couldn't see her face clearly, her eyes seemed to have the power to bewitch souls. The woman across from me looked at me and teased, Handsome, would you let me dance for you later? Click, click. Despite the noisy atmosphere in the room, I could still hear the sound of high heels clicking. Following the sound, I saw those iconic beautiful legs enter my field of vision. Amanda, this time, I wouldn't let her escape. I quickly approached her and grabbed her arm, dragging her into the neighboring room. 
Amanda, you slut. Weren't you supposed to be playing the murder mystery game? I want to see how you explain this, as I spoke, I forcefully removed her mask. Ah, she also let out a scream and quickly covered her charming face with her hands. Jennifer. I was completely stunned because the woman in front of me wasn't Amanda, it was Jennifer. Jennifer was my wife's best friend, and her height and build were similar to Amanda's. I had mistaken her once before from behind when we were dating, which explained why those legs looked familiar. Jennifer also recognized my voice and looked at me in disbelief. Jaden, why is it you? I quickly let go of her and stood up. Although she wasn't Amanda, Jennifer was here, which meant she had lied to me about going to play the murder mystery game, what about Amanda? Is she here too, huh? Jennifer looked at me, confused. Jaden, I haven't seen Amanda. What's going on? Jennifer's response only confirmed my suspicions. This woman hadn't spoken a single truth. With clenched fists, I ignored Jennifer and sent a text to Logan before leaving. I picked up my phone and called Amanda, wanting to confront her face to face. Curry. Wait, my husband is calling me. Lower your voice, Amanda's voice came through the phone, accompanied by heavy breathing. Asking if I needed something. I asked, Amanda, which store are you in? Honey, we're just playing. All right, it's too messy here. I. I won't talk to you now. Get some rest, okay? Ah, towards the end of her sentence, I faintly heard a sound of impact, followed by her letting out a shout. Hey! Where are you exactly? Before I could finish my sentence, she had already hung up the phone. When I called again, there was no answer. Her voice, combined with her refusal to answer the call, further confirmed my suspicions. Perhaps she was with another man at this moment. I imagined my usually dignified and graceful wife entangled with another man. The woman who pretended to be a virtuous wife and mother in front of me, but behind my back, was willing to fulfill any perverted desires just to please others. It felt like a heavy punch struck my chest, and my vision turned black for a moment. I almost fell down, but I leaned against the wall and took a while to catch my breath. Adulterous couple, tomorrow, I would confront Amanda face to face. I wanted to see who the person was that she was having a sexual relationship with, ah Jaden, Jaden, wait for me, as I was about to hail a taxi, I heard someone calling me from behind. What is it, Jaden? Let me give you a ride home. Jennifer knew that Amanda usually drove the car. Okay, without thinking much, I got into her car. Unexpectedly, as soon as I got in, she grabbed my arm and pleaded. Jaden, please don't tell my husband about today. It's my first time, really, the first time. While she shook my arm, I unintentionally caught a glimpse of her wearing a deep v-neck short sleeve top and couldn't help but swallow a few times. Not to mention that Jennifer not only had a seductive appearance, but her figure was also extremely alluring. I had fantasized about her on occasion in the past. Seeing my gaze on her, Jennifer's cheeks reddened, and she leaned in closer. Brother, as long as you don't say anything, I'll do anything you want, I'm also a man and in the face of such temptation, my heart wavered a bit. But at a critical moment, I suddenly remembered something, Amanda often mentioned going to hang out with Jennifer, and I remember Caleb, Jennifer's husband, even called me once, asking if Jennifer was at my place. Although it didn't happen. Amanda told me that Caleb was quite strict and didn't allow them to go out and have fun. If he were to ask, she wanted me to cover for her with a lie. Now, thinking about it, these two women must have done this before. Jennifer definitely knew about Amanda's other activities, Jennifer. Do you know anything else about Amanda? I Jaden, what do you mean by anything else? I glared at her and said, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. 
I'll call Caleb right now and tell him what his wife is doing in a place like this. Caleb is Jennifer's husband, and he's a typical troublemaker. I don't know how he managed to win over a woman like Jennifer. But one thing is for sure, Jennifer is afraid of Caleb. If I were to tell Caleb about this, even if he didn't kill her, he would definitely make her suffer. After I said this, Jennifer's face immediately turned pale, and she quickly grabbed my arm. Jaden, please, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Just please don't tell Caleb, I heard Amanda mention that she was getting close to their company's boss. Today, she also told me that if you asked about it, I should tell you that we were playing a murder mystery game. As for where she went, Jaden, I really don't know. I've told you everything I know. Please don't tell Caleb, from Jennifer's current demeanor, it seemed like she had already disclosed everything she knew to me. I didn't pay much attention to her subsequent words, as a name instantly popped into my mind as Zachary, the boss at Amanda's company. I recalled several instances when that bastard Zachary would call Amanda late at night and summon her to the office for overtime. Now that I think about it, no company regularly requires overtime work in the middle of the night. At this moment, Amanda might be under the control of that Zachary. I clenched my fist tightly, looking at Jennifer. Little did I know that all of this was part of a conspiracy, and I had fallen deep into it. Take me home, sure, Jaden, Jennifer replied without hesitation and drove me home. As I sat in the living room, my mind was in a heightened state of agitation. I looked at the wedding photos displayed in the room, and memories of the past flashed before my eyes. I lit one cigarette after another. When Amanda returned home in the morning and saw me, she expressed concern, Honey, why are you smoking so much? Why am I smoking so much? That's something you should be asking, where did you go last night? I continued to ask. I went to play a murder mystery game, Amanda replied. Was it with Jennifer? I asked further. Amanda nodded and said, we had planned to go together, but Jennifer had something come up at the last minute, so a few of us found someone else to join the game, Amanda. It's been this long, and you're still lying to me. Did you go to play a murder mystery game? I think you went to see your master. I exclaimed loudly. You're such a great pretender. Since you like it so much, go be a dog for someone else, saying that, I threw the underwear she had hidden away right in front of her. After a moment of reaction, Amanda picked up the underwear and glanced at it. Jaden, what are you doing with my underwear? What am I doing? Isn't this the reward you received for serving Zachary in his bed, making him comfortable, you bastard? What did I tell you last time? Yet you still suspect me. Now you're using this thing to humiliate me. How did I blind myself to choose a bastard like you, you heartless creature? You don't deserve to have a meal. Amanda didn't offer any further explanations and threw the breakfast at me before turning around and storming out of the house. The more she acted like this, the more I felt that she was trying to cover up the truth. You scumbags, you've done something unforgivable to me, and now it seems like I'm the one at fault. You betrayed me, and I won't let you, this pair of adulterers, off so easily. After I went downstairs, I drove straight to Amanda's company. By chance, I saw her laughing and talking with Zachary by his side. I gritted my teeth and stared at them. You're still flaunting it in my face. Once the two of them went upstairs, I burst into the office area and shouted, Zachary, you're having a sexual relationship with my wife Amanda. Have you no shame, everyone, gather around and listen? How should we deal with this guy, Zachary, who takes advantage of his subordinates? After shouting a few times, a crowd started to gather, and some people even took out their phones to record videos. I wished for them to upload those videos online so that more people would know about it. Amanda also ran over. Jaden. Why are you causing a scene at our office? 
If there's something, let's discuss it at home. Discuss it at home? Have you ever been honest with me? Today, you'll explain everything right here. Amanda stared at me with wide eyes and said, Jaden, what are you trying to do? Embarrass me at home and now spreading rumors about me at the office? If you want a divorce, just say it, divorce. Fine, but you leave my house with nothing. At that moment, the company's security quickly came and escorted me out. There were still so many things I wanted to say, but this should be enough to give them a hard time. Not wanting to go home, I returned to the store and saw Logan scrolling through his phone. As soon as he saw me, he asked, Bro, what's going on? While speaking, he flipped his phone and showed me the viral video of me causing a scene at Amanda's office. Amanda and Zachary, I want to see how you two will handle this. Hey, it's a long story. I explained the whole situation to him. Logan, also angry, said, Bro, Amanda doesn't seem like that kind of woman. I think there must be a misunderstanding between you two. Let me talk to her when I get the chance and try to clear up the misunderstanding. I know you're looking out for us, but this time it's real. As I was about to reply, I received a WeChat message from Amanda. I opened it and read. You spread rumors about me, and now I've been fired by my boss. Since you want a divorce so badly, I'll prepare the papers, and you can sign them later, I spread rumors? You brought this upon yourself. However, when I sent the message, a red exclamation mark appeared on the screen, indicating that she had already deleted me. Fine, let her delete me. Just as I was getting angry, my phone rang. It was Jennifer calling, so I swiped the screen and answered. What's up, Jaden? I'm outside your store. There's something I want to talk to you about in person. Where are you? I'm at your store's entrance. Get in my car. I looked outside and saw Jennifer lowering her car window and waving at me. After getting in the car, she drove to a nearby parking lot and took out a small stack of cash. Caleb was supposed to work overtime tonight, but he ended up not having to. When he went back, he found out I didn't come home until late at night, if he calls you to ask, please help me cover it up. Just say that I slept at your place with Amanda, this is a small token of appreciation. Please, you have to help me. As I looked at Jennifer in front of me and listened to her words, the flames of anger inside me instantly ignited. You wretched woman. Jennifer is also a wretched woman. Cheating on her own husband like that, it instantly reminded me of Amanda. I need to vent this frustration, I grabbed her arm and pulled her closer. Jaden, what are you doing? Hey, she was only wearing a white camisole and a pair of pink shorts. I could tell her resistance was just pretense, with a clear purpose of enticing me. I was ready to take out all my hatred for Amanda on her. Just as I was about to kiss her, my leg moved too forcefully and accidentally hit the glove compartment on her side, causing it to open with a click. Looking at the contents inside, my mind went blank and my actions stopped. Jaden, what are you doing? You've already got me all worked up, ignoring her, I picked up the underwear from inside the compartment and instantly froze. Where did this come from? I never expected to find a pair of underwear identical to Amanda's, with the same slave embroidery, this made my head spin. The fact that Jennifer had the same underwear as Amanda meant that Jennifer and Amanda shared the same master. My words slipped out, and Jennifer's expression changed slightly as she said, Jaden, what are you saying, these are the ones she bought on the street, I could see the change in her face which only increased my suspicion that Jennifer was involved in Amanda's affair. Even if she wasn't involved, she must know who the owner of her underwear was. As long as she knew who the adulterer was, she could settle the score. Don't pretend with me. Who is the owner of these underwear? What's the deal with Amanda and everything? Amanda and Jennifer had been getting closer lately, and they even had the same underwear. 
I even suspected that these two women had both served the same master. These underwear. I bought them online because I liked them, I glared at Jennifer, and she instinctively covered herself with her arms. I grabbed her by the neck. If you don't tell me, I'll strangle you right now, Jennifer looked into my eyes, feeling the increasing pressure in my grip. She was genuinely scared. Please, don't. I'll tell you, but promise you won't hit me, stop talking nonsense and just tell me. With some hesitation, Jennifer started speaking, and as I listened, I was dumbfounded. Amanda never betrayed me. It was all a complete conspiracy, and the mastermind behind it all was my friend, my best buddy, Logan. It turned out that Logan had developed feelings for Amanda and had secretly contacted her several times, but she had rejected him. So he came up with a twisted plan and found Jennifer. Jennifer, being a loose woman, readily fell into his trap. They even played a perverted game where Jennifer became his slave, and he recorded it as leverage. Either she helped him or he would send the video to her husband. Fearing her husband's reaction, she succumbed to Logan's coercion. When she came to my house with Amanda, she secretly placed the gift box in my wardrobe because she knew I would tidy up the house whenever I had free time. This naturally ensured that I would discover the box quickly. Logan, seeing my displeased expression, probably guessed that I had found the underwear in the box, so he began executing his plan. He took me to that club hoping that I would mistakenly believe that Amanda was there. Unexpectedly, Jennifer got caught in the act. Jennifer turned the tables and deliberately claimed that she hadn't planned to play the murder mystery game with Amanda, further deepening my misunderstanding of Amanda. In reality, Amanda didn't deceive me. She had made plans to play the game with Du Sha Sha that night, but something came up, so she couldn't attend. It worked. Logan achieved his goal of making Amanda feel that I didn't trust her. No one can accept being doubted by their spouse, and Amanda was no exception. She asked for a divorce, giving Logan the opportunity to swoop in and turn Amanda into his submissive. Even Jennifer coming to see me today was for the purpose of filming a video with me and sending the pictures to Amanda. This would be the final straw that would break our relationship, making her believe that I had cheated on her with Jennifer. The reasons behind my infidelity were now clear. I cheated on Jennifer because I believed Amanda had betrayed me. I had fallen into the trap they set for me, step by step. If I hadn't accidentally discovered Jennifer's secret, I would have destroyed everything I had built with my own hands. I looked at Jennifer in front of me with anger. You wretched woman, I wish I could kill you right now, Jaden, didn't we agree not to hit me? I've told you everything, I swear, also, Amanda wasn't his first target. I. I have a few more videos that were secretly recorded, just in case this guy tried to betray me in the end, send them to me quickly, I took her phone and checked it. Indeed, there were videos of Logan with other people, engaging in perverse activities. I even recognized two of the actresses, they were wives of our colleagues. While I was watching, Jennifer's phone rang, and it was Logan calling. I handed the phone back to Jennifer. Answer it, with fear in her eyes, Jennifer answered, is the video ready, following my lead, Jennifer answered, it's ready, good. Logan hung up the phone, and immediately my phone rang again, and it was him. What's up with Logan, bro? I think this is all a misunderstanding. We're having a gathering with our colleagues tonight, and I told Amanda about it. She's coming back, and I'll clear up this misunderstanding between you two. You have to come, okay, all right. I hung up the phone, and in that moment, I understood what he was planning. This scumbag wasn't trying to resolve the misunderstanding, he wanted to publicly humiliate and destroy me in front of everyone, the final straw that would break the camel's back. If he wanted to play with me, then I would play with him. Jennifer, when he asks you for the video later, 
follow my instructions. When I tell you to send it, just send these videos, Jaden, this, you either listen to me or I'll kill you. I had figured Jennifer out by now, despite her seemingly carefree attitude, she was incredibly timid. True to form, after I frightened her, she nodded repeatedly, agreeing to my plan. Later that evening, our colleagues gathered in the private room of the Bay Hotel, and Amanda arrived too. As soon as I saw her, I knelt down on the ground, holding a bouquet of roses. Wife, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. These years, I've always felt insecure, fearing that such a beautiful woman like you would be taken away by someone else, I've been so suspicious, please forgive me, with so many people surrounding us, a few women stood behind Amanda, encouraging her. Amanda, your husband truly understands his mistake, yes, please forgive him quickly. Amanda was trapped in that situation and had no choice but to accept the roses in my hand, albeit whispering softly, don't think I'll forgive you so easily. The moment she said those words, I knew she had forgiven me, so I quickly sent a message to Jennifer on WeChat and kept my eyes on Logan. Within minutes, a cold smile appeared on Logan's face, and he quickly went to the computer in the private room, clicking on a few things. A video started playing. Amanda, let me tell you, don't easily believe this guy. Look at what he's done, as that strange voice played, a screen appeared showing Logan looking at me, saying, Amanda, don't let this guy fool you again. I know exactly who he is, but he soon realized that everyone's gaze wasn't directed towards me, but at him. That's when he realized something was wrong. He saw that the video playing was actually about himself. He quickly tried to shut it off, but it was too late. Two colleagues who had been cheated on by him immediately rushed at him, engaging in a physical altercation. Meanwhile, I took Amanda and left the private room, making a phone call to Jennifer. Do you want to completely get rid of Logan? Of course, I do, I continued, quickly call the police and tell them that Logan drugged and violated you. Also, make sure to inform the other victims, without a doubt, I knew Logan would spend the next few years in prison. After all, those two women, regardless of whether they were willing participants or not, would definitely claim they were coerced by Logan to protect themselves. Finally, I explained everything to Amanda, and she forgave me. Looking at my wife in front of me, I felt overwhelming guilt in my heart. So, let this be a lesson to everyone, cherish your significant other, and when misunderstandings arise, make sure to clarify them promptly. Otherwise, you may end up losing the person who loves you the most in this lifetime.